Hey guys, Future Man 19 here. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on in our world. So, probably you guys have already figured out that uh, Trump, there was an assassination attempt on Trump apparently at one of his rallies uh, that he was having. And of course, you know, it's, it's blowing up all over the news and or on the internet everyone's talking about it right so so I mean I'm not surprised at all um, like I said before none of this should be surprising to anyone if you guys are following biblical prophecy if you have the spirit of prophecy within you none of these things should affect you in any way anymore I know everyone's up in arms like you know just everyone <laughs> Like, I mean, right now you see on my, on the timeline, civil war is trending on Twitter. So, you know, everything, everyone's just up in arms about this and everyone's just blowing this wide open, right? Everything's, everything's just the, the, the frenzy that's going on right now in the media and on the internet is at an all time high right now. Like this reminds me um of basically the kind of the kind of same feeling as like when 9/11 happened or like you know the left uses January 6th so this is going to be the right January 6th basically and and they're going to use it they're going to use this to their advantage to push their politics and push their agendas cuz you know left or right everyone has an agenda that they want to push everyone wants to push their point of view, their politics, you know, their their ideology, all that stuff. So obviously this is going to be the, the biggest news story and it's going to be going on for months and months and months well, all the way up to the to the election um, for the new president of the United States. So um, if you have been following me, I have made plenty of videos about Trump. I have lost a lot of them because YouTube uh, deleted about 20 to 25 of my previous videos that I have a lot of information. Hopefully I'll be able to post those again at some time. But I still have one of my most important videos you should check on, out on my channel. Trump's It's called Trump's Great and Miraculous Therapeutic Vaccine. And I go into... Uh, really really great detail on how i see trump as one of the the heads of the beast in revelation and this is just one more big confirmation <laughs> big this is this is like it's just it's just right on the dot right it hits the bullseye okay of of the prophecy ultimately coming fulfilled now it was fulfilled which i prove in if you watch that video how how when he got covid when he was the president and he was healed by therapeutics as he called it that was the actually the exact interpretation of that scripture in the book of revelation where where this beast will have a wound in the head a head wound and he will be healed miraculously and the world will wonder after the beast so now the world is wondering after the beast right like ev every if i don't know if you guys use twitter or what whatever you use i'm sure it's all i don't really want i don't watch the mainstream news media so I'm sure it's just plastered everywhere. And I'm sure all around the world, everyone's talking about this. And this is the number one story, okay, in, in everyone's country right now. Everyone is glued to this story. Everyone's wondering about Trump, wondering after the beast. This is an exact fulfillment. So I said this is a double confirmation, which doesn't, doesn't come often. Um, but I believe that these prophecies are so important that God sometimes allows multiple points, multiple points to prove 
that this is the 100% fulfillment of the prophecy. Now, I've watched other channels. I've been, you know, on YouTube just watching people's... Everyone's going live right now, so... I tried to go live, but I, for some reason my mic wasn't working in on the live stream, so I'm just doing a recording right now. And every there's just live like my whole feed is just a bunch of live shows of people that I, I haven't even seen in in a while. And there was one that was a pastor on there, and he's saying this is by the grace of God that he's alive. Blah blah blah. You know, obviously now all the the people that are basically in worship of him will will use this to be like well this is this is obviously a miracle and you know god spared him and blah 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 right so um this is why i try to tell you guys don't don't put your faith in any man don't trust anything that's going on in this world okay everything in this world is built on shadows and lies okay don't get worked up by this i I don't get deceived because I I was blessed with the spirit of discernment when I was very little. I've always had this gift. It's a gift of the spirit um, that that was given to me, and it's I always thought it was it was like man, I wish I had another cool gift like the you know gift of tongues or something. But this is a gift that was given to me, and so not no I. You know, I, I don't fall for any of these psyops because right now and and continuing forward and pr pretty much everything that goes on in this world is a psyop. Everything's a psyop here. OK, you got to you got to start um, seeing the bigger picture here. You got to stop reacting to everything that happens that's going on that the news wants you to see. You know that what the algorithms on the internet want you to see you need to stop reacting to everything you know just step back take a deep breath and just try to think hey hmm is this a psyop and are they trying to make me believe a certain you know point of view are they trying to make me believe this story and for what reason what's the reason behind this obviously there's a lot of motivation behind this attack even though if it's i'm not saying that it's a fake it was a fake assassination attempt i'm sure it was 100 percent real it doesn't matter if it's fake or real because it, it, the results are still the same that this is a confirmation of the the prophecy found in the book of revelation of the beast receiving a head wound and the world wondered after the beast. So, and also they have their narrative now, right? The right is just, is, has, has the left, you know, just cornered right now, right? Because they, after that debate that happened a few weeks ago with Trump and Biden and how Biden is obviously People are now trying to, you know, he's he's obviously not fit for the presidency, nor is fit to be the next candidate of the of the Democrats. So they're scrambling, right? And and a lot of people are still gung ho about Trump. They're still all for him. And now this this act today, this assassination attempt, has now bolstered his ranks through the roof. Okay, this is. This is huge and we're only we're only just feeling the the first effects from this watch until he gives his next speech you know I'm not saying this was all planned or I mean it might have been but there are a lot of crazy people out there that would probably try to do this and you know who knows but it's still it's, if it's fake if it was real or not it doesn't matter because the effects and the results are still the same. So just some pictures of that I found online that I found interesting. Apparently here was the sniper. They say he was about, um, I believe they're saying it was like 200, 200 meters from the stage. So like 400 feet or so. And you know, 
it's kind it's kind of crazy because it almost seems like it was staged because and and I don't really care if it was staged or not like that that does not matter to me what matters to me is what's going on in the bigger picture the bigger picture is God's plan like what what God is working on okay and these prophecies that he let us know 2000 years ago that's this is the grand plan of his all right this is this is him showing you hey I told you in advance this is what's going to happen are you going to fall for it okay are you going to fall for the beast who brought you the mark all right which was the the v word right and billions of people who took it right and he and he says himself that they were miracles that came down from god the the vaccines right so if you don't believe me or if you don't know about that watch my previous video that i that i mentioned earlier trump trump's great and miraculous therapeutic vaccine so that goes into great te detail of it but um you know now we got another confirmation okay because just like on what 923 how there were multiple confirmations on that day this is now multiple confirmations that trump is one of the heads of the beast okay and this is god wants to make it super plain for you because you know people didn't believe that my interpretation of of the the literal translation of the book of revelation passage which i explained in my in that in that video on my channel um where the wound could have actually been translated as a plague which covid was seen as a plague right and it was healed by therapeutics which was his exact wording of how he was healed because obviously his followers don't want to hear the word vaccine out of his mouth even though he's been the one that's been promoting it all this time even after we have all this the truth come out which i i was telling you guys to to not take it you know months before it ever came out because i see the signs i have the spirit of discernment i have the spirit of prophecy because i have a testimony of jesus christ and you know i've lost hundreds and hundreds of subscribers um because obviously a lot of people still follow trump and they don't want to hear anyone badmouth him and they don't want to hear the truth about what's going on they they have their feelings involved you see what i'm saying when when the feelings start to get involved that's when you start getting misled okay you have to use the spirit in order not to be misled, which I always rely on the spirit. That's why I'm not overreacting right now. Yeah, a lot. There's there's tons. There's hundreds and hundreds of grifters out there. Probably a lot of you follow these kind of people who are blowing this up. You gotta watch out for these people. I follow them only to get more information because they they do a lot of due diligence and get a lot of information like getting this kind of this picture here um but i don't i don't believe w what they believe in okay i only i only believe in the truth that's all that matters to me only the truth okay and if these prophecies are coming true that and they've been they've been written for thousands of years so that is that to me is a is a miracle which is another confirmation that there is a god out there and that there is a plan that god is following and so this is all part of the plan we're still in the seven years of tribulation okay and uh okay and also i i did receive a sort of a confirmation um a few weeks ago too about the two witnesses all right so um i'm gonna just tell you i i've been thinking about this for a while it's been on my mind but i haven't had any confirmation i always wait for the confirmation before i just start saying random things okay because 
I don't like to guess at things. I don't like to just, you know, just, just randomly, you know, just, I don't, I like to, to express what I believe, but I would rather express to you the truth rather than what I believe. So the truth again is found in the Bible, right? So if we follow the prophecies, it leads us to the truth. And so finally I have confirmation. So, um, it is interesting that I don't know if you guys heard, but like Julian Assange was released. Um, I forget exactly what happened if like the, the charges were dropped or he he was found guilty, but they just um, you know forwarded his sentence. I'm not I I don't for, remember exactly what happened. I was gonna make a video about it, but since this just happened, uh, and I'm I'm. I'm basically just recording live right now. Um, I don't have that information in front of me, but I I have believed for a while that um, Julian Assange might be one of the two witnesses because definitely the deep state and the beast, they, they've been wanting him dead for a while and that he's been plaguing, he's been plaguing the beast for a minute and because he's bringing all their secrets into the light right with with all that stuff so it's not a hundred percent confirmed yet to me because i haven't seen really anything miraculous or whatever but it has been on my mind because it was like julian assange and edward snowden was to me could be candidates for the two witnesses. I'll just say that they're candidates because they're both wanted by the beast, right? Um, I have other candidates as well, like Leland Jones. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I'm not sure yet, but he is the one that's living over in Israel right now, prophesying against them. So he definitely could be one. Um, but I haven't heard from him in a while. And he's also been on the same same path as me. With um, He also believes in the 923 event that happened, the prophecy, which was a fulfillment, and which started the timeline of the seven years of tribulation. He believes that you know we're in that seven years as well. And he believes Trump is one of the beasts of Revelation as well. So... Um, it's it's all lining up perfectly and <laughs> this is just another crazy example a crazy confirmation of of this these prophecies becoming fulfilled 100 percent if if you're going day to day to day and you're not even contemplating any of these prophecies that are happening you're obviously going to miss them okay if they're not in the forefront of your mind if, if the biblical prophecies are not in the forefront of your mind, you're going to miss stuff like this, okay? You're going to react to what's going on. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe this happened. You know, we got we to gotta do something. We got to rise up, blah, 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 blah. No, just, just relax. Take a deep breath, okay? Because this is all part of the plan. Do not be in this world anymore. This is all just a show. It's all for show. Okay, and it's all for you. It's for you because God is testing each one of us. He wants to know, are we people who will follow the truth? You know, who will follow the light? What kind of people are we? Are we easily deceived? Because to me, you know, a liar is, is can be someone that is deceived. Because if you believe a lie you are also a liar to me because you're you're believing in it you're taking part in the lie you're probably even spreading the lie as well yeah you might got deceived but if that I means whose whose fault is that right everything you should t start taking responsibility for all your thoughts all your actions and, and all your beliefs okay if you're getting deceived, that's your own fault. You don't have the spirit of discernment, which is a gift of the spirit. You don't have the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Jesus Christ. You got to strengthen those things, man. You know, I don't know what else to say because 
the responsibility and accountability all lies on you. All right. It's all up to you. You need to put the mark of God in your forehead. You need to start waking up to this matrix, this false world, this shadow world. Okay. That's full of lies and shadows and deceits. You need to start waking up to these things. All right. Um, some more pictures, more confirmation. So here's his, uh, his head wound that he received. Uh, I mean, I honestly can't tell if it's, if it's real or not. I don't know. I don't, like I said, it doesn't matter. It looks like there's like a hole in his ear there. I mean, I feel like a gunshot would like explode the ear, but again, I don't, I don't really know. You know, maybe it would be like a huge, a way bigger hole than that. And maybe his, his ear would be like dangling off his head you know what i mean like it doesn't look like that great of a wound it could this could easily be like one of those fake um blood blood you know fake blood that hollywood uses that i don't know i don't really care um like i said the effects are still the same there's gonna be people that believe it there's gonna be people that don't um but you know still still getting the still getting the point across right and so here's his head wound it's actually a head wound it wasn't just like because i mean i think it would be different if it was just an attack on his life like someone was shooting on him and like totally missed or whatever but this is an actual head wound okay 100 percent confirmation right i don't know what else you need to know that so here's another angle of it i mean it it does look pretty real okay i mean again i don't know like you gotta think if the bullet was like like because it looks like a hit right here on that part of the ear right like right there so if it like grazed his head because that's like basically where the ear and the head are attached you think it would like Maybe make a mark like that's I don't know, man, that's that's hard to say if that's real or not. I mean, the blood looks pretty real to me. You got the dripping and stuff. Uh, you know, I don't know, man, that's I think there would be like more more of his head that's been grazed, you know, by a bullet. Cause it like just hit that part that's you know, it's kind of crazy i don't know man but then again like i said like th this right here is kind of crazy because from what this guy's saying i i'm kind of this is how i'm kind of feeling this is from dc drano on twitter it's a scoop from a trained sniper that whole thing was an effing failure the secret service got there too slow the swat team got there slow and why did they keep him on the stage exactly if you watch the video they kind of like just <laughs> you know if, if you watch any of these other like assassination attempts on presidents or important people and stuff like the secret service will literally like pick him up and carry him out and they would be all huddled around they would get him out there like so fast super fast like it would be in a split second or they would just keep him down on the ground until like confirmation that all threats were neutralized, right? It, it, it was so odd if you watch the video, how they just kind of like let him do his thing on stage. They just kind of like, you know, just let him <laughs> do this thing, right? Like he's put, putting his fist up in the air. It was almost like he was, it was planned, right? And this flag flying, flying in the background <laughs> you know it look to me it's it's feeling kind of staged you know what i'm saying and also like if you're watching the video when he like kind of grabs his ear uh when he's when he's falling down to the ground where it looks like he got hit like you would think there would be blood or something on his hand so it's almost like secret service came and like kind of jumped on him and either they put the blood on him 
as he was down while they're kind of huddled around him so no one could see what was going on that's you know that could be a possibility but uh you know the watching the video it, it looks like this is almost staged because it's kind of just like of course he has to be pumping up his fists and like yelling people say he's yelling fight 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 like i mean <laughs> If you're at that kind of an imminent danger and stuff, yeah, he might be a badass or whatever. Like, that may be, you know, what a badass would do would be raise their fist and chant some kind of some awesome slogan or, you know, whatever, like awesome, um, some awesome words to, to, to pump people up about it. And that's kind of like, kind of how I feel about it, is how it's just like, wow, he, like, knew exactly what, like, you know, that was his reaction rather than just, like, oh, oh, crap, like, I need to get out of here, you know, like, that was his first thing he wanted to do, it's kind of weird, um, like he says, look at, yeah, he says, he should have been off there in two seconds, yet they stand him up, for what, it was obviously for, to get that, uh, to get that photo op, right, <laughs> with him waving his hands in the air, um, to give another shoot another shot exactly it's kind of it's kind of strange right look at the old that's what I'm saying like don't react to things like yeah it looks like endearing and like motivational like oh my god my present he got up and flag waving behind him and he's putting his fists up in there fight 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 yeah that's what we need to do yeah you know we need to rise up <laughs> Like, don't react to these things, all right? That's what they want out of you. Don't react. Look at the old Reagan assassination attempt. He was out of there in 0 0.2 seconds, exactly. Why didn't a drone pick him up? Why didn't another pick him, sniper pick him up? We cover... Yeah, so... I don't know, man. Like I said, either way, it doesn't really matter if it's staged or not, because the, the results are still the same, you know? So anyways, guys, you know, obviously there's going to be like a, a hundred thousand videos of this, of this Trump assassination. This is all people are going to talk about for months and months and months, just like they did with January 6th, just like they did with 9-11. Like, this will go on for forever, man. This will go on until Trump's probably reelected. And this has definitely boosted his, his chances being re-elected so anyways guys i didn't even want to make it this long i just want to make a quick update and just basically my message is is don't don't react to what's going on don't overreact keep your head level seek the balance okay like none of this stuff even matters anyways okay none of this stuff should matter to you only thing that should matter is god's plan which is the prophecies becoming fulfilled if you're if you're if you're aligned with the spirit of god if you have his name in your forehead then you will not be deceived okay so anyways guys love you all um i will try to do maybe another live tomorrow um if i can get my mic working but anyways guys hope you enjoy this video um you know, share it if you want. Uh, like I said before in my previous videos, like I'm, I'm here, even though there may, maybe not that many people that watch me anymore, because I have, I've pissed them off with the truth of, you know, and I talk badly about their, their false savior, Trump and whatnot. Um, you know, obviously people don't like. That kind of stuff so anyways i hope um the ones that do continue, that do still watch me maybe this will help you in some way maybe you know if you're feeling kind of confused like should i be reacting to this how should i you know react to this is this real blah blah, blah. hopefully this video has helped you guys anyways love y'all um take care all right um pray always keep the armor of god on Watch my, my previous videos, all right, to get more information. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.